Okay, so um, just doing another little booster um, video. We've had a few people not get how to fit a booster correctly sorted, so they're being over adjusted. So we've just ripped this one out of um, our dual cap to give you a bit of a demo. Um, okay, so basically that's the VDJ ABS style booster. So the ABS style has a sunken pin, the non-ABS has a pin that sticks out of the front. So basically all we've done is we've pulled this out of the car, we removed the block and components, apparently. Okay, we can remove the gasket. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a measurement from where the bolt face is to the center of the pin. So on this one it's 215 millimeters to the center of the pin. So we basically will remove this, put it on the next one, take it out. We want 215 to the center of the pin, which is that. We can lock that up. So. Okay, that's done. Just exactly what we had before. Gasket back on. Lock back on. That back on, that way. That's ready to roll. Okay, the front pin. Okay, so the front pin, a lot of people are misconstruing where we're taking the measurement from. So on this one, that, we'll use a, a piece across the face and we'll actually measure down to the tip of the pin. And then we'll do the same on this one. Okay, so that one's got to come out a little bit. So. There is adjustment on these to wind these pins out. So we've measured the factory one and using our rule, we're just making a measurement to the tip of the rod. Then we do the same on the new booster. We take it from the face to the tip of the rod. Make sure that that's right. We lock that up and that's it. That there is now ready to go. So you push rod lengths right your front, front length is right. If you over adjust this, it can lock your brakes up while you drive. Like when you're driving, it'll actually get down the road and you'll go, oh, my brakes are locking up. So it's critical that that be right. Rear push rod be right, and it's ready to go in as simple as that. Okay, so what we've done is we've fitted a brake booster, nothing else. Um, but what we've managed to do is lock up those 35s, six wheels mind you, not four, but six. Um, not much of a road surface there. We left two black lines there, probably about 20 meters long, but that's 90 k's an hour, full lock up of the brakes. So this thing weighs about 3.4 tonne. So to give you a bit of an idea, but there you go.